Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Nine-year-old mails president three dollars after learning he doesn't take a salary. Then Trump sends him this letter. A nine-year-old boy from Tennessee became concerned when he heard that President Trump was only going to take one dollar as his salary. So he did what most kids his age won't. He decided he needed to help him. In a local area media interview, the young boy stated, "I thought, how is he going to eat or drink?" Or, you know, pay, if he needs to pay his water bill or anything. So after even more worrying and pondering the boy whose name is Elisha told his mother, Melissa, that he actually wanted to send President Trump some money. Melissa told her that her first reaction was to ask if he was going to give his money away that he has been putting away to buy a mandolin. But at the same time, she didn't want to discourage her son from his generosity. Elisha sent the president a letter with his $3 donation. Months passed and he forgot all about it until a large envelope addressed to him showed up in the mail. The envelope contained a letter from President Trump himself thanking Elisha. But it explained he couldn't accept the gift but the president hoped the boy would look for ways to make a difference in his community. The letter also recounted how one of the best aspects of President Trump's job is hearing from young Americans and that he is very grateful for his whole family's prayers. With your faith and determination, I have no doubt you can do anything to which you set your mind, the president added. Think big and dream even bigger. You are the future of our great nation." The letter continued. But what really got Elisha excited was that in the envelope was an autographed picture of President Trump and Vice President Mike Pence in the Oval Office. As well as the $3 which he had sent months before. Here is more on the President's salary via The Hill. President Trump's donation of his first quarter salary will go toward a pair of projects at a preserved Civil War battlefield in Maryland. Interior Secretary Ryan Zink traveled Wednesday to the Antietam National Battlefield in Maryland, 70 miles northwest of Washington, D.C., to announce his choice of where to direct the $78,333.32 check Trump gave to the National Park Service NPS, in April. I can find no better investment in our country than our battlefields, Zink told NPS employees, philanthropists and reporters as he stood among the hills and cornfields where thousands of Union and Confederate soldiers died on a single day in 1862. As a former Navy SEAL, it's about preserving our heritage of why we fight, he said. We fight for our family, we fight for our friends, we fight for our country, and we fight for our freedom. An anonymous donor and three nonprofit organizations added to Trump's donation to bring it up to $264,213, the NPS said. That money will go toward restoring the exterior of Antietam's newcomer house and replacing a fence at the battlefield. Conservationists and Trump's opponents criticize Zink's announcement as part of a stunt by the president. The president wants to cut the NPS budget by about $350 million, or 13 percent, to $2.55 billion. Zink defended the proposal, along with an overall 13 percent cut to the Interior Department, last month as what a balanced budget looks like. Meanwhile, the NPS is facing a nationwide maintenance backlog of $11 billion. Honoring military sacrifice and conserving battlefields are things that all Americans can get behind. But this publicity stunt must be taken in context. President Trump and Secretary Zink are proposing a crippling $1.6 billion budget cut to our national parks, battlefields, and other public lands, Greg Zimmerman, deputy director of the Center for Western Priorities, said in a statement, referring to the Interior's proposed cuts to public lands programs. Trump's $78,333.32 check accounted for his after-tax income between January 20 and the end of March. He asked specifically that it go to maintaining historic battlefields. NPS officials struggled after the donation to find specific projects that could be paid for entirely with the donation, records showed. Trump has yet to nominate a director for NPS, a position that requires Senate confirmation. Zink used the Wednesday event, the day after Independence Day, to announce $7.2 million in new grants going to states, localities or nonprofits to buy historic battlefield land at 19 sites from the Civil, Revolutionary and 1812 wars and preserve it. That money comes from the Land and Water Conservation Fund, which uses fees from offshore oil and natural gas drilling to acquire and preserve parkland. The Antietam Battlefield honors the 1862 Battle of Antietam. The battle was the bloodiest day in American military history, with more than 22,700 DD, wounded or missing after the fight, with Union soldiers making up the bulk of the casualties. The battle was regarded as a draw, but gave President Abraham Lincoln a strategic win that led days later to the Emancipation Proclamation. 
The newcomer house, whose restoration project is benefiting from Trump's donation, was built near what became the battlefield in the 1780s. The Union Army used it to treat wounded soldiers after the battle. The federal government bought the house from a private owner in 2007, and has since used it for exhibit space. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.